Right, things have changed up in the mountains in a good way. Uh, we've got plenty of snow uh, that we've seen over the weekend up there, which is certainly making the uh, skiers and snowboarders happy. They were loving it today. I mean, it was so busy up there. We had cars coming down from the mountain. It was a great weekend to be up there. We have more snowfall tonight and through most of our Monday. It's going to be a great week to get up there. Uh, no matter which day you decide to go out there, although a few may be pretty cold. All right, let's take a look at the snow report, uh, ski report. We have 12 inches there coming over the last 24 hours. Meadow is over a foot. Ski bowl just about the same. Bachelor a little bit less than that, but I'm expecting more snowfall for you folks as uh, we go through the overnight and into Monday. There's still some winter weather alerts out there. All the section in purple right here from the coast range through areas of the Cascades down to the south. So pretty busy as we head into tonight and ongoing for our Monday. The Coast Range has a winter weather advisory that expires at 10 p.m. 4 to 8 inches. You can see government camp area of the Cascades. That actually expires at 4 p.m. They pick up about 8 to 12 inches, possibly a little bit more than that. So yes, skiing and snowboarding is going to be wonderful up there. Cascade Foothills, though, that expires at 10 p.m. Some of the lower elevations of the foothills may see about four inches, but uh, some spots may even gather up about 10 inches. So it's going to be pretty busy here. This is the most updated snow forecast as we go through the weather model. Heading into tomorrow morning, maybe about four inches there. But do notice that that snow tries to make it into areas of the Cascade foothills all the way down to maybe even Salem. I don't believe we're going to see any snowfall or measurable snowfall for the valley floor, although we may have some snow trying to mix into some of the areas around Portland and down to the south. So just know that. We'll have to keep our eyes on that as we head into tomorrow morning because a couple showers, some heavier showers may be able to pull some colder air down. OK, snow level forecast does bottom out by Tuesday morning. We have the trough here, which is opening up the door to that cold air moving through the northern Rockies into the Columbia Basin, right into the gorge, and that's going to continue to kind of funnel into areas of the Willamette Valley. By Thursday, a ridge just to the west starts to move on in. We'll have a little bit of sunshine, probably uh, temperatures close to average on Friday before we potentially see some more rain and uh, temperatures dropping once again right behind that. All right, tonight we do have the passing showers, as I mentioned, coming off the coast range. Some steady rain just to the east right now as that cell has moved through and then kind of spread across areas like Gresham and into Sandy. I'll pull the view out a little bit more and you can see how it's all coming in off the northwest there. All right, so for the coast tomorrow, I have temperatures in the 40s, kind of cool some showers, maybe a chance for a thunderstorm as well. Here in the valley, just in the 40s, mid 40s to the lower 40s, uh, just some passing showers, maybe that snow mix late Monday night as well. Yeah, central and eastern Oregon in the 30s, cloudy with some snowflakes up in the mountain. Yeah, kind of heavy at times with the snow, snow for the passes. You're going to be uh, needing to go a little bit slower up through the pass there for tomorrow. All right, here's a seven day forecast. I have Tuesday at 36. It's very cold air. Overnight temperatures down to 20 degrees on Wednesday. You can see some sunshine there on Wednesday tomorrow. Again, just the showers there wane. We get into Friday. I mentioned that that ridge moves in, so we bring in some sunshine temperatures in the upper 40s. Cold week, though. Very interesting week ahead. All right. Thank you, Joseph.